Rooted in Love show. Life spoken from the roots of those who adapt to reach the sunlight. We stay rooted in love. We stay grounded. We get our strength from above. We stay rooted. We stay rooted in love. We stay grounded. We get our strength from above. We stay rooted. We stay rooted in love. We stay grounded. We get our strength from above. We stay rooted. We stay rooted. We stay rooted. We stay rooted. We stay Welcome to the Rooted in Love show with them Robinson boys. I'm here with my brothers. I have uh, I'm Jared Lamar, Emmy Robinson, yeah. Emmy Robinson. <laughs> Today we have a guest. We all know him as Mr. Dixon. Yes, sir. You know, I, I thought about that when I asked y'all. Like, man, if I don't call this man Keevy, I'm like, yeah. we. Yeah. All I, I knew, Mr. Dixon. It's, I thought. it's almost like we've known him so long that you get that type of respect that where. We just say Mr. Dixon. So it's like, I would never call you by your first name. Is that weird? <laughs> <laughs> right. well, Do you I'm get that ridiculous. a lot? Like, yeah. yeah. People yeah. Mr. Dixon. Like my kid. Okay. Like, yeah. <laughs> all grown up. Yeah, yeah. everybody's yeah. grown uh-huh. up. Yeah. yeah. That was one of the things I thought about today, too, is that uh, so many kids have come through. Mm-hmm. I know you, we know you from the Boys and Girls Club. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And all those kids are mm-hmm. we've even grown up. Mm-hmm. And so it's it's like, how, how is, is that? does that have an impact on you, like? How does it impact you? Yeah, it's uh, sometimes it's, it's it's shocking because you look back and you say, "Man, I remember when these were, you know, young preteen, you know, oh, uh, yeah. elementary uh, kids, and now they're, you know, grown and have their own okay. kids, yeah. and families, and you know, they're doing great things, and you know, and I'm so wow, it's just amazing to yeah. you know be a part of their growth, yeah. you know, and, and their success." And they all, and I can't say they all, but all the ones I see on Facebook, they, they, they shout you out. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's a they lot of love. shout you out, you yes. know, and that's, they still of, get that love, yeah. But that's that's one of the things that got me to call you. Yeah. So yeah. I think it was uh, Drew, was one of the mm-hmm. guys that we grew up with, like we kind of mentored him a little bit, but yeah. uh, just looking at his page and I know it's like he always mm-hmm. reach out to you and give you yeah. that love and that respect. And I was like, you know what, let me get him on the yeah. show. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah, we I appreciate oh, yeah. that. Appreciate you. Um, it's gonna be a good one. And we really like right now. We, we just want to get to know you. We want to know like originally. Like yeah. think back. Like where do where do you come from? Like where did all start? Like how, <laughs> how, how, how what was the start of Mr. Dix? Man, I'm just a, a little country boy from Mer- uh, Meridian, Mississippi. Meridian, wow. Meridian, yeah. Meridian, 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 uh, okay. You know, in the country, deep country. That sounds like kind of deep. Our deep. Parents, <laughs> deep. Like, you know, we talked about the back, back in the day. Bay Road, you know, okay. uh, you cows, the chickens, the, the hay. Oh, man. Yeah, we grew up on the dirt road. But... Yeah, me too. Okay. Know. Lovely lifestyle. It yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. My dad has a church out in Augusta, Georgia. Okay. And yeah. those people, their lifespan, like they're, you, they'll be night in their nineties, still cutting right. grass yeah. and, and walking a lot in the field. Like it's something yeah, about right. that country life yep. that preserves people. Yeah, the quality of food and uh, they get yeah, daily exercise absolutely. without even moving. This. But um, yeah, how many siblings? I have uh, six brothers and one sister. Oh, you about like us then? So it's eight. eight. Okay. Oh, what's seven? Seven. seven? seven. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Okay. So similar, similar That's background. Similar yeah. Okay. Country boy, big family. Yeah. <laughs> what What do you fall at? I'm number two. Number two? Yeah. Number two. Okay. Yeah. That's so good. Like, I'm number three. Okay. It was so many of us that we, at one point, we all assigned numbers and we would just tell people that. Okay. Like, I'm, I'm number five. Three. Yeah, number everybody five. knows that I'm like, five. Did they do your three all like that? They used to say, you want the Robson boys. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one of, one yeah, of the Yeah, so, um, growing up in the country, like, was that all of your youth? Like, from, to, from what age? Like, did you just... You spent your whole year? No, actually, we moved to uh, Meridian when I think we're up in the fifth grade. Okay. And, um, you know, and, and, but my earlier, I think I was like 10 or something like that when we moved there. And, you know, it was kind of like city life. But, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I always kept those close ties. And, uh, and I was very, very close and connected to my grandfather and my grandmother. Okay. Uh, because I grew up without a father. Never, even to this day, I've never seen my father. Oh, never wow, hugged him. Never uh, had the opportunity to uh, 
get to know him, see who he looked like, his, you know, right. uh, any of his ca- characteristics, you know, but that's you know, powerful. Good. Yeah, yeah, he good. must be because, uh-huh. like, we just talked about the impact you uh-huh. had on thousands of uh-huh. kids. Right. So for you right. to come from that to now impacting kids the way you do, like, yeah. that, God is good. Being a step in father for a lot yeah. of them, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. And that's why, you know, I tell people all the time, you know, just, you know, even with the job that we do day in and day out, it's really not like a job. You know, you, you're there to fulfill your purpose and, you know, impacting the lives of others. And, and, and sometimes it's different looks, you know. Right. And, um, you know, for me, I'm, I'm blessed to do it. Um, and all of those kids that, you know, you're alluding to on Facebook and, and different places, and it's mm-hmm. even kids all over the world. Um, you know, it's just a blessing to be able to, you know, um, encourage, uh, impact, and, and just, you know, just be there when they need you. Right. Yeah. You know? I, I like what you said. I always hear top leaders say, know your purpose. That's the that's first thing right. you need to do. Yeah. And you're a coach because you're, you're a teacher, so you, you yeah. understand that he deals with, he's a middle school. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. It started out in high school, yeah. so. Finally got enough years under my belt. Ain't, ain't close to what you got now just to see like some <laughs> yeah. of them, like you said, some of them getting out of school, getting families and yeah. getting careers and all that. Yeah. It's a blessing yeah. to see. Yeah. Like I don't I don't want to jump too far here because I, I do find it intriguing uh-huh. about that country life. Yeah. Uh-huh. Just growing up on the farm, you know. <laughs> yeah. Can you walk us through that? Like what what was a day in the life like growing up on a farm? Man, it was it was it was a picturesque, you know, uh work of art, you know, seeing your grandfather get up before the sun, yeah. you know, doing the chores, uh, having breakfast and, you know, um, you know, just having all his, you know, overalls, a lot yeah, of people wrote right. that mean, right. but, um, and grandma getting up, you know, cooking breakfast and they just doing chores, you know, you, you're in the field and you have to attend to the, to the, to the farm animals and, you know, just whatever that day brings. Right. You, know, you you know, you just jumping into it, you know. So one day it might be, you know, cut wood or going to town or as they used to say back in the day, and, you know, uh, sitting on the porch and pea cribs and shelling peas and oh, pea, yeah, my, peas. Well, and man, talk to about that all the time. You know, all those things. Just talking about snapping the peas, you know, man. Yeah. Mom used to have to snap and pee till your hands start cramping. Yeah, 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 <laughs> absolutely. Cut grass and you know, uh, just in the field. Sometimes, you know, you're in the woods hunting and fishing and, and all yeah. those things. Okay. So I imagine it taught a lot of responsibility. Uh, just, you know, take care of animals and all that. And just, like, I think all kids need that to learn how to care about somebody besides themselves. Yeah, it you was. It's a, it's a way of life. And, you know, it's uh, when you out there and you're in that intimate tranquility and, you're, you know, your animals, you know, get to be right. a part of, you know, of, of the family. And then some, you know, you you raise them to, you know, have clean, you know, like right. said, like have a clean food, you know, and, uh, awesome. and everybody talking about organic this and that. They, you know, we've been doing it for years. Now we'll go back yeah. to the source, huh? Yeah, yeah we just talking about that. Years. Get that animal raised, and then, yeah. and then animals, and then. you know, the fruits, and you know, with all of those, uh, just natural, no pesticides and all of those right. things, and, you know. And you're able to can it, which a lot of people don't know what that means. Yeah. But you preserve yeah, it for us the next time and, and actually put it in the deep freezer and have it as a meal. I'm so you, right. yeah. you really know that life. I'm, yeah, I'm listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> like, you yeah. can paint it a vivid picture. Like, literally. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. we can see it. You put us there. So I'm like, okay, you yeah. really. But I, I imagine, though, if, if that's what you know, if that's all you know, people who might be listening, uh-huh. like, this is nothing like we grew up in Paulding County. Nothing right. like it. We call this country, yeah. but it's all we know. So going outside and playing all day, uh-huh. it ain't nothing for us to play all day and eat yeah. while we in the woods running uh-huh. around playing because we know what we're going right. to eat. And you picking the little fruits or whatever growing at right. the time. Right. Oh, uh, but that's all you know. So it's not like a, it wasn't a hard life to me, I would yeah. say, growing yeah. up out here. Yeah. In the woods all day, there was no video game, people, no, right. people, not even television because we, <laughs> I don't know. Subscribe to the Rooted in Love show for weekly updates and free giveaways.
video game. No, right. Not even a television, because we didn't. <laughs> okay, I don't remember right. about TV. We uh -huh. didn't really get a television. Uh -huh. <laughs> and when we got one, we couldn't just look at it like that until Absolutely. we were. We yeah. were like late teens or yeah, mid man. teens when we out here first got a television. Yeah. Anything other than that. Mom yeah. put us outside in the summertime and locked the door. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how it was. Yeah. So, yeah. so what I'm saying is, it, it's nothing. It don't seem like if anything bothered you about living that way, which it didn't bother us. No. But you seem yeah. real. If yeah. you don't mind me asking your age for for reference. Oh man, I'm an old man. I'm <laughs> no, because I can't tell. You. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm 51. Oh, oh man, man, come on, man. man. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Oh. I didn't say black, don't crack, y'all. <laughs> man, look. Good. Thank, Good. Thank, Good. You. Good. Thank, Good. You. Thank you for the compliment. I appreciate it. But um, yeah. but no, and even to this day, we still have our farmhouse there. And um, oh, yeah. and I've been doing some renovations, uh, helping my grandmother. She's still living. She's 93. Yeah, see? Yeah. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, just doing a lot of things and trying to keep keep up the, the property and stuff. We have 55 acres. Oh, okay. Wow. You yeah. said that's like the one done, right? Yeah, we, we still plan to try to get there. Yeah, that's, that's one of our goals right there. We're, we're no, it's, the land. it's accomplished. It, yeah. it can be accomplished. Yeah, it can be accomplished. I know it can. Like, that's but, you know, that's just, uh, you know, my grandfather, you know, and uh, his legacy. And he asked me before he passed one. I remember one day we were sitting. And he told me, you know, make sure you take care of your grandmother. Mm -hmm. And make sure you, you know, you help the girls, which is my mom and her other two sisters. Okay. You know, take care of the place. Because yeah. I'm, I'm kind of one that, you know, used to kind of be around him. And, you know, that was my my role model. That was my dad. Um, you know, he was right. the one that I looked up to. And uh, especially for us just working, he was one of the hardest working men that I ever seen. You know, back then they could take anything and make anything. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. You know, so... Like you was talking about that that wisdom and, and responsibility is it's like those were real men back in the day. Yeah. You know, you mm. you gonna you gonna yeah. learn something. <laughs> you gonna right? learn something. You're you're gonna learn how to use your hand. You're gonna learn how to be responsible and, and, and you know, and you can't lay in the bed all day and all that. Man, you gotta get you. Remember I like that? how you said his yeah. legacy. My, my dad would come up and wake us up early every morning. For what? It's, it's for nothing. For what? <laughs> but it's so bad right now. Outside. We're grown men, uh -huh. and none of us lay in the bed. Right. None of us. Yeah. It's like we've been married, and even because I was married, my brother's still married. But uh -huh. our wives would even try to get us as just someone uh -huh. to lay in the bed, yeah. Yeah. and it's it's actually hard. Yeah. Yeah. You know, unless I've worked all night or something, Absolutely. that I had. So you do have time, but for the most part, yeah. yeah. You just become just familiar with just getting up. Yeah. Yeah. And my dad still does it. Yeah. 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 You know, it's it's in, it's in, it's in you. It's a part of your day and day. You know, you, you get up and you take care of business. You yeah, know? I guess that's part of that legacy there. Just we try to teach people that all the time. Young, young, young Even our get up and get friends, we yeah. teach them that if if you want to do something with us, like you ask us to help you move uh -huh. or do a program, uh -huh. you can't do something with us then you start at one or two o'clock in the daytime. We're mad uh -huh. at that point. Yeah. Because we've been up since seven waiting. Mm -hmm. We could have knocked it out and been yeah. back at the house watching our basketball game or something. Absolutely. <laughs> but, and we learned quickly everybody wasn't raised like that. Like that level of man. You yeah. just don't think about it when you hear it though. Like this is like this right. how we do. But yeah. you got a lot of friends that ain't on that level. Like you right. said, like it ain't nothing. Just yeah. getting up, yeah. grinding, yeah. taking care of business. Because I, I love how he said it. Yeah. He said, he said, man, got to get up and, and, and handle the business. Yeah. yeah. And and that's something that's that's something I want. I want you know a man should really get up and handle the business. Like you know, it should, yeah. you don't have to take all day to get things done. Yeah, you know? I mean, y'all taking notes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and like you don't hear these gym get dropped now. Yeah, yeah. So, but I, I was blessed to be under his tutelage, and you know, my grandma she was raised the same way. She she had eight siblings too, and you know, back oh, wow. then you had to, you know, as as sharecroppers and things like that. You know, especially back then. When, well, even to the day when it's hot, you know, you want to get most of your stuff done. Y'all you know, yeah, don't know about that Mississippi heat. Living, good law with I, intentionality. You know. Uh, Cause I tell people all the time, you know, time is precious, and it's something right. that you can't you can get money back, you know, but you right. can't get time back. Right. So you know, you got to make the best of it, and you know, um, and um, man, time is the one of the most valuable things we have. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We try to get people. No, no, I didn't really get it until I got older, right. and now right. that's that's one of my things. Like I don't like. Wasting my time or wasting other people's time. Yeah. This is right. one of my things. Yeah. I like to be on time when I say I'm going to do something. Mm -hmm. or 
uh, live up to yeah. my commitments. And if I can't, I'm gonna let you know. Like, look, I, I don't want me to do that. <laughs> yeah, just because yeah. I understand how valuable it is. But yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow. And it sounds like your even because you, you mentioned a lot about your grandfather, but it sounds like your grandmother was still a strong woman. Like, oh, she, yeah. it sounds like she's still going. Yeah, she's strong to this day. We had a, we have a really good memory. She really sharp, y'all, man. She. No, well, LeBron James is. <laughs> <Seriously. laughs> yeah, I love so. talking to them older ladies like that. Yeah, yeah. Sharp, still dropping them yeah, 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 still I getting mean, It's a blessing, you know, for her to still have her mind as sharp, sharp as, as it is, you know. So, yeah. and we can talk about anything. Really? Absolutely. Sure, really. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's a blessing for real. Yeah, that's is. that's that's one of my goals. I tell people all the time, like I, I love life and I I look forward to age. Like that's yeah. one of the things where uh-huh. I I want to. Get to that point where I'm yeah, looking back and right. looking over generations, uh-huh. and and that's a goal. Yeah, yeah. nobody won't get old. Yeah, nobody like, won't get old. Like people show yeah. that wisdom. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's coming. <laughs> right, yeah. it's coming for all of us. Yeah. It's coming for all of us. So yeah. um, that's one of the things we say now. We always say our health is our wealth. So one of our oh, yeah. things now. I recently just went in, uh, got my eyes checked for the first time, found oh, out I'm, uh, I'm about blind. But, <laughs> but it's that thing where I just, I really want to take care of myself yeah. and be healthy so that when, when that time comes, I'm still, I still have my mind and I'm still got my wits about me uh-huh. and I can get around somewhat. Oh yeah. So that's, yeah. that's important for me. Good. But uh, I want to be like those old country mm-hmm. grandmas, granddads and, uh, yeah. Yeah. I love, I love to hear those yeah. stories. Yeah. But I, I told a young man. Couple of days ago, I said, you know, he thought I was in my forties, early forties. <laughs> I was like, no, nah, I don't look that young. But thanks for the compliment. Uh, yeah, but no, nah, see, just you know, you take care of your body, uh, you exercise, right? You know, uh, I'm about to say, I still see watch you, you balling treat, sometimes. And watch how you out. treat people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. And just keep your mental state as happy as possible. There you go. Oh you know, boy, you, you on that same and, that plane of thinking. You know, if you can do those things, then especially, you know, living your purpose, uh, you know, you, you'll be fine. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. a lot of times we, you know, we just go and go and go, we don't take care of ourselves and, you know, and, you know, and our bodies change all the time. Yeah. Whether we, can see and it. we've all been there too. Yeah, like we, we've been there. We, <laughs> we went full years and realized, like, man, we ain't took no break. We haven't. Yeah, we haven't did this. We've just been running, trying yeah. to keep up with life, surviving, yeah. Yeah. paying bills, working, yeah. and then doing events. And yeah, like he just got, uh, we just got invited to an event in Africa for December uh-huh. twelfth. So oh, we, yeah. we're trying to figure, okay, how do we get to Uganda? Yeah. Let's let's make let's get the plans yeah. on. Uh-huh. But if, if we're not careful, we'll we'll do that all yeah. the time and end up like burnt out. Okay. So that's one of the things we try to practice, man. It's like making sure we take yeah. time to. Yeah, you have to. You're giving right. us these reminders. We learning yeah. today. Well, you, you, <laughs> you know, we make a living, but we don't we don't make a life. Damn. And you know, you work hard. You know, and you know everybody deserves some fun. You know, a chance to recharge, a chance to, you know, just see different things in the world, and oh, yeah. you know, just get away and get a break. You know, right. and we've been taught just to just go get it. You know. Which is what yeah. men's supposed to do, you know. We're supposed to be protectors, providers, and priests, but still, um, in our innate ability of being, we, we're human beings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, we need to sometimes scale back and, and make some memories. There you go. And, 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 and that's what I try <laughs> to do with a lot of the kids. They, you know, are we going here? We're going there. I'm like, yeah, why not? <laughs> you know. Right. So you know. Uh, that's important. That may be a good segue right there to uh to end this segment. It's, okay. It's yeah. just on that right there. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna uh we're gonna go ahead and uh-huh. say thank y'all for joining us on the Rooted in Love show here with Mr. Absolutely. Fixie. Yeah, we'll Make come sure you back. Subscribe, everything, y'all. Yeah, click Hit like button, subscribe, leave some comments, talk to us. Brought to you by 8 Robinsons TV and Yellow Tub Creative.